Hi, welcome to Cool Down Stretching. I'm Brenda Nickel. I'm a personal trainer and a group instructor here at Center for Weight Loss Success. Cool down stretching is really important. It helps you bring your heart rate down and it gets your muscles nice and stretched out and relaxed. Gives you an opportunity to finish out your total workout. So it's a really important thing to do. Each stretch you want to hold for somewhere between 10 to 30 seconds. It's all going to depend on your comfort. And as I always say in class, only go to where you're comfortable. If something hurts, you don't want pain. It's okay to feel the muscle working. It's pain is not good. So our first exercise we're going to do is a side reach. And what you're going to do is you're just going to reach up and over. You're going to feel that all through your lats or your latissimus dorsi. You may feel it in your trunk flexors as well. You're going to feel that nice stretch. You may even find it a little bit down into your hip flexor. So you're going to reach over. And then we're gonna reach over to the other side. And again, you're gonna feel that stretch all the way up the side as you should. You may feel it down into the hip flexors. And then you're gonna reach back over to the other side. And one last time over to the right. The next stretch we're gonna do is arm across. So you're gonna bring that arm over and across you can either pull at the wrist or you can push above the elbow. You don't ever want to touch on the joint. The key here is to keep that shoulder down as you pull across. You're going to feel that in your deltoids, which is this muscle right in here. And then you're going to take the other arm over and across again, making sure that that shoulder stays nice and down. And one more time over to Shoulder down, pull that arm across. Again, you can pull from here if you want, just don't, don't push on the elbow. And the other side. From here, we wanna reach up and over. This is called an elbow bend and push. Typically, you'll see people do it this way. Again, this is okay as long as you're not pulling right on the elbow. You wanna reach up nice and tall. Again, you wanna keep your abs nice and tight as you're doing this. And then switch to the other side. Again, pushing from behind the elbow, or you can push on the tricep itself. And one more on the other side. And last time on this side. Now to open up that chest, walk over to the wall. You can put your hand on the wall and you're gonna rotate your body around. You're gonna fill that pull all across your chest in your tricep, your bicep, and a little bit in the deltoid. And then for the other side. And one more time. You can do this with the palm flat against the wall or as you rotate over, you can do it with the palm against the wall. It's just gonna change the stretch ever so slightly, but you may feel a difference. So go with what works best for you. The next thing we're gonna do is work on the head. You're gonna to wanna to do a head tilt. Again, this isn't nice and gentle. Don't pull hard on the head. Release those shoulders, pull that head over. You can also stretch the arm out on the opposite side and you'll feel that stretch all the way down through the neck and into the arms. You may also feel it some in a little bit into your traps. So over to the other side again, you can do it with just your fingertips to the head or if you want a little deeper stretch, you can reach that arm out a little bit further. And one more time to the other side. And the last one. Come back up. You also want to work on the head turn, so you're going to turn your head over. You'll feel that stretch all through here. You may also feel it just ever so slightly across the pecs or your chest area. Rotate to the other side. And one more to the left. and back to the right.
Now, if you're like me and you're typing, we spend our day hunched over with our keyboard or hunched over in our car or hunched over with our phone. So we really wanna do this wrist, it's a wrist extend and flex. So if you pull those fingertips back, you're gonna feel that stretch through the hand. You're also gonna feel it in the wrist. And then you wanna pull this down. You'll feel that through the fingers and all the way up into the forearm a little bit. Then the other side, pull the fingers back. And then pull them down. One more time on the other side, fingers back. And down. Last time, pull those fingers back. You should be feeling a nice release in your hands. And down. All right, we've released our upper body. Now let's work on our lower body. We wanna do a heel press. So you're gonna take a nice step back somewhat of a lunge, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your heel flat on the floor. If you're having balance problems, you can always step a little bit wider with the front leg to give yourself a wider base. So you wanna push back through that heel, keeping that heel flat on the floor. If, if this far back is too far, if this works for you, it doesn't matter how far back you step, it matters that you keep your heel flat on the floor. So for me, this is a nice comfortable place. Then to get deeper into the calf or the inside of the calf, which is called the soleus, you're going to bend that knee ever so slightly, but keeping the heel flat on the floor. That's gonna come up through the Achilles tendon and into the soleus, which is the center of the calf. Then switch to the other side. Again, step back, get into that little bit of a lunge position, keeping that heel flat on the floor. and then bend that knee just ever so slightly, you will feel that all the way up the Achilles tendon and into the calf. If you feel something that's kind of an awkward popping, that's just the muscle releasing, so go ahead and stay in that stretch just a little bit longer till that, till that all works through. And one more time back to the other side. Again, take that nice step back. If you're feeling a little bit off center, just step out just a little bit further, push back through that heel. Drop the knee, and again, don't let your heel come up. You wanna keep your heel flat on the floor. And then the last time to the other side, taking that nice step back, heel to the floor. And if you're not getting enough stretch here, just lean forward a little bit more. That'll increase that stretch. Then bend that knee deep into the soleus. Good job. Next, we're gonna go into the lunge. This is gonna work our hip flexors. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see it a little bit better. So you're gonna go into that lunge position. You're gonna drop the knee down. This time the heel can come off of the floor and you're gonna rotate your pelvis up. You're gonna feel that pull right through the hips, the hip flexor. You're also gonna feel it in your quads. So again, it's tucking the pelvis forward while you're in that lunge position. And then come back up over to the other side, step forward. Find where your balance is, drop down into that lunge, and then rotate the hip up. One more time on the left. Lunge, drop the knee down, and rotate those hips up. And the last time, step back into the lunge, find your balance, Drop the knee and rotate the hip up. You definitely should feel this here. If you're not feeling it, you need to rotate the hip up more. Next exercise is gonna be a warrior. You may have done that in yoga. So you're gonna take one foot stays this direction. You're gonna step forward, finding that nice lean where you're feeling the stretch and reach up. Your head stays neutral. You should feel this flex all the way through your abs. You should feel it in your quads and your glutes, your hip flexors. Come on back down, rotate to the other side. Arms up. If you're not feeling it in your hip flexors, sink a little deeper in. Raise those arms up. You don't want to be arching your back, so you want to stay nice and neutral. You don't want to be way back here, but right here, nice and neutral. 
And one more time to the left. Step out into that lunge. Get your balance and arms reach overhead. And last time on the other side. Step into the lunge. Find your balance. Arms overhead. Fan is your next exercise. And what you do there is you want your, your feet hip width apart and slowly lower yourself back down. If your heart rate is up, you may wanna to wait to do this exercise, but if your heart rate is feeling down, come on down to the floor or as close to the floor as you can get. If you're feeling uncomfortable, you can walk your feet up slightly wider than hip width. If you push back into the stretch, as if you're trying to get your bottom to the wall, you're gonna feel that all the way up your lower chain, through your, um, your calves, your hamstrings, and you may even find it in your glutes feeling that stretch. So slowly come back up. We'll do that one more time. Down. Find your comfortable spot. If the floor is not for you, you can put your hands on your quads. You can put your hands on your shins. Just don't put them on your knees. And again, push those hips back to the wall. Let your head feel nice and natural. You'll feel that stretch all the way up the calves, the hamstrings, and into the glutes. When you finish this stretch, take your time and slowly roll up out of it. The next stretch is a quad stretch, and I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. If you are comfortable, you can touch the wall for balance if you need it. Reach back and grab your foot. You wanna keep your knees together and pull. This is gonna stretch all the way through your quads. And the other side. You should really feel the stretch up through the quads. Another way to do the stretch, if you're not comfortable with it standing, is come on down to your mat. Lay on your side. Stack your hips and then reach back to that toe and keeping those knees together. Then switch over to the other side. Again, stack the hips. Reach back for the foot and pull back on those toes. You're gonna feel all kinds of stretch through that quad. Next one we're gonna do is called a lion crossover. What you're gonna do is you're going to drop one knee down and let it pull across the hip. and then switch to the other side. And you'll be lifting up on one, let the other one come down. You're gonna feel that stretch through the hips. The next exercise is a lying leg raise. If you have any trouble with your hips and you'll want to do this instead of a figure four, which we'll do later, you're gonna be here, you're gonna straighten that leg, Again, don't pull behind the knee. You can pull at the hamstring, or if you're more flexible, you can reach up and pull at the calf. This is gonna be stretching all of your lower chain through here. If you need more of a stretch, flex the feet. It's not a bad idea to actually point and flex through the whole exercise. It gives you a full range of motion. Bring that leg down, move to the other side. Again, Reach from behind the hamstring and pull back. If you need more, reach for the calf, point and flex. The lying spine twist is next. With this one, you're going to wanna to take your, your knees one direction. So you'll start here, drop those knees over to one side, rotate the head, over to the opposite direction. You should feel this all through your lower back. 
You may even feel it a little bit in your glutes. Then slowly rotate to the other side. Again, the head should be opposite direction that the knees are going. Then come on back to the middle. The next one is the line figure four. Again, if you have any hip problems, you may want to stay with this the straight leg that we just did. The figure four crosses the ankle over the knee. You're going to reach through and grab the quad and hamstrings and pull back. This is, you're going to feel this all through the hip on the opposite side. We'll switch to the other side. So it's drop the ankle over the knee. Let that hip fall out and open. Reach between the legs and pull back. You're gonna feel that stretch all the way down and through here. The next exercise we're gonna do is the seated straddle. And as we've all done this in our younger years, we tend to just flop ourselves over. What we wanna do here is find where you're comfortable. I'm not that flexible, so my feet aren't that far apart. You're gonna to wanna to reach from your hips forward rather than bending over, so it's reach forward. And come on back, take a nice deep breath. Stretch it out again. And that's the seated straddle. The seated forward fold is just what you think it is. You're going to roll yourself down and some of us are more flexible than others and you may find that your nose goes straight on down to your knees. I'm not that flexible. You may want to exhale to help you get a deeper stretch. Come on back up. Another time down. And back up. Our next X stretch is going to be the kneeling reach. So I'll go sideways so you can see that. You're going to want to come down as comfortable as you are. If you find your knees hurt as you start to lean back, again, you can stagger them out hip width apart and reach yourself down for it. It's very much like a child's pose. You want to let that head relax, fall, but let your ears fall between your arms and reach those hands forward. Again, you wanna lengthen the lower spine through here, and you can do that by reaching your hands forward. This should feel really good. And then slowly walk yourself back up. And one more time. On your second time, you may be able to reach just a little bit further forward and really feel that spine opening up. From here, we're gonna go into downward dog, which you may have done in yoga. You wanna put your hands directly under your shoulders. You wanna tuck your toes underneath you so that you're in a nice tabletop and you're going to push up onto your toes let your head drop back naturally between your arms. If your calves are tight, you can walk into this position. This is stretching the calf a little bit more, the soleus a little bit more, the Achilles tendon. Once you're here and those feel pretty good, again, push back, let your head drop down. This is gonna stretch all across your arms, your chest, your back, your hamstrings, your calves. You can bring that back down to your knee to take a rest. And again, curl those toes underneath, arms directly under your shoulders, hop up on those toes and push the hips back. From here, come on back down to your knees and we are going to go into Cobra. This is gonna be a nice ab stretch. So you're going to lay down. If you have any back issues at all, only go as high as you're comfortable. You can put your hands here, push up. 
you should feel that stretch all the way through your abs. You may feel it in your glutes a little bit. You may also feel it in your hip flexors. Let yourself come back down. Take a nice deep breath and blow it out as you push up. And then slowly bring yourself back to a seated position. Whatever is comfortable for you, nice deep breath in and blow it out. Thank you for spending time with us and I hope you enjoyed your stretch.